We don't yet know the full answer to the question of how defects in pantothenate metabolism cause neurodegeneration. Pantothenate, or vitamin B5, forms the molecular backbone of coenzyme A. The first evidence that defects in this pathway cause neurodegeneration followed from this discovery that mutations in the gene encoding the first regulatory enzyme in the CoA synthetic pathway lead to a rare neurodegenerative disorder. The mutated gene is PANK2, encoding pantothenate kinase 2, which is the mitochondrial form of this enzyme. The disorder, pantothenate kinase-associated neurodegeneration, is associated with a very localized brain defect with damage to the globus pallidus. A secondary feature of disease is accumulation of iron in this same structure. The story of how pantothenate metabolic defects lead to neurodegeneration became even more intriguing with the recent discovery by the Tiranti lab that mutations in the gene encoding CoA synthase lead to a very similar neurological disease affecting this specific brain region. Both PCAN, or pantothenate kinase-associated neurodegeneration, and COPAN, or CoA synthase protein-associated neurodegeneration, lead to neurodegeneration. One might infer that CoA levels are low in cells or tissues affected in these autosomal recessive disorders. While this may be true, there is little direct evidence in support of this in human disease. Moreover, there are several lines of evidence suggesting that the story is more complex, including the cellular compartments in which these proteins localize and the supranormal catalytic activity associated with several common disease-causing mutations in PANK2. We approach the problem of sorting out the pathogenesis of disease through an iterative process of applying what the disease teaches us about tissue vulnerability to our knowledge of defective pathways and cellular perturbations. This new knowledge informs how we study human disease to understand why only certain cells in the brain are sensitive to defects in pantothenate metabolism. What are some possible reasons? There are many hypotheses and perhaps no single answer. Instead, a host of differences in the selectively vulnerable tissues is likely to underlie their sensitivity. These are energy-intensive tissues with distinctive functional and compositional features that help to explain their sensitivity to toxicity caused by a pantothenate metabolic defect. The brain regions damaged in PCAN and COPAN share several distinctive features. They serve a similar role in the basal ganglia circuitry as the main inhibitory output nuclei to the thalamus. They're mainly GABAergic. The globus pallidus and substantia nigra have the highest iron concentrations in normal brain, as demonstrated by the blue staining in these postmortem fixed tissues. Finally, the pallidi are specifically damaged in several disorders that provide valuable insight into their selective vulnerability in PCAN and COPAN. Carbon monoxide and bilirubin are toxic to the globus pallidus. In pyruvate dehydrogenase deficiency, the pallidi are selectively damaged. These MRIs show the localized damage and are placed adjacent to an MRI of PCAN on the right. These toxins disrupt mitochondrial function and lead to a, a final common pathophysiology that is likely to be shared with PCAN and COPAN. The biochemical pathways and cellular processes disrupted in PCAN are myriad, and much of the work that has been done to illuminate these defective processes has been done in the Sibone lab using a fruit fly model of PCAN. The fly phenotype recapitulates many key features of the human disease. Defects in fatty acid metabolism, DNA damage response, and protein acetylation are evident in this fly model. In mice and humans, a host of biochemical and cellular alterations have been described as well. Finally, key insights into how defects in pantothenate metabolism cause neurodegeneration may be gleaned from studies done using potential PCAN therapeutics. Product replacement therapies are in development and these experimental compounds hold promise to both reveal and mitigate the specific cellular defects that are most relevant to the pathophysiology of PCAN. Thank you very much.